saddling with a Decker saddle, okay? Um, anyway, let's get to it. We've got the saddle on there. We've got it adjusted back from the point of his shoulder so that our bar is not in the way like I pointed out in the earlier video. Um, we drug our, our britching down over the back this way and uh, a couple key things. And I, again, I keep saying this, but I have seen everything. Uh, well, every year I say that and then I go, I haven't seen that. <laughs> so, uh, but I have seen people that have been saddling their own horses for years and years do some things that are amazing. They're just amazing. Yeah, I'll just I'll just leave it at that and, you, and let you use your imagination. But the thing of it is, is that we're gonna as soon as we get that saddle up there, we get it in the right position. We're gonna we're gonna use we're gonna tie it off with the girth strap, okay, or the the girth, and then we're gonna put the britching on. And then the last thing we do, and a lot of times I'll leave that till way later, but we're gonna put our breast collar on. And then when we take it off. We're going to do the. We're going to do it in opposite. When we take the saddle off, we unbuckle the breast collar, and then we take the the britching off, and then we take the girth off. So we don't have a horse go buck in two and take off and pull back and everything else. And he's got half his rigging hanging on him and it's dragging behind him and everything else. That's uh, what how uh, uh, we get in some jackpots. Okay, so we've got the saddle on there. It's adjusted. We're going to reach under here. Don't spend a lot of time there. I'm, I'm always here where I can push away too. So, and I'm going to, I like to be up around the shoulders to see if I can do this so you can see it. But I'm going to run my latigo through my big ring. Okay, I'm going to come through there a couple times. I'm going to keep it back. You know, this be, should be five or six inches, depending on how much of an underbelly you got. It should be leaning forward a little bit. That's okay. I just don't want it up in the armpit. That would put this whole saddle up too far. Okay, while it's still loose, I'm going to bring this through here and back around and up through here. Okay, the next one is, and I know maybe a few of you know, or a lot of you know a quick release for your latigo, but this is the one if you don't have one to go to. And I've tried most of them. Again, I've seen most of everything, but I'm gonna actually, and this is one that I've found out not many people know, okay, is that just a, a, a loop there and then I run that through there. And what I wanna do is if I've got a pack sitting over here, I want to be able to reach under there real quick and get that thing off of there if I have to, if I get in a real uh, jackpot, as I've been saying, okay? So I'm going to retie that, and I, I'm going to cinch it up just the first time. I'm just going to going to tighten it up so that this saddle doesn't move. It's nice and solid. And then before I load my gear, always, always tighten your cinches, okay? So like that, and then I'm going to hang this out the back. And I'll do that on the other side with the billet. Okay, so that's how we do that. Um, we've got our britching. Maybe I can pull this over here a little bit so you can see it a little better. Okay, all right, we got that like that. And while I do this, I'm going to adjust these quarter straps a little bit. And then here's one thing that that uh, it concerns me to a certain extent. But um, when I see, you know, people that don't do this for a living, um, I see it a lot, is that you'll have the, the britching, the main part of the britching will be just like like a dress, just swinging in the wind, swinging in the wind, you know, like that. So, but that thing is made so that the saddle doesn't go forward. It is not gonna do anything if it's swinging in the wind. So. That's not how you want that. You want to have this so you can just slip your hand in there. Okay, a couple other things. Um, so we have some adjustment straps here. That That's pretty good there. There's a, this quarter strap. What I want this to be is actually turned up a little bit from there so that it naturally just uses the whole surface of, the, of that on the inside of the britching. Okay, 
And that way I'm always thinking about potential rubs. So how that thing hangs makes a difference. If it's just going to wear on the bottom end and rub, 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 it's going to wear a hole in that animal. It's going to take all the hair off for sure. Okay, so you want a kind of a turn. You want to pull these up a little bit in order to get that, that nice turn. And every animal is a little bit different how they turn off their quarter there. So it'll be have to be adjusted a little bit differently there. Say, okay, so I've already got that adjusted. The pad of my britching is a little back from, that's about three or four inches, maybe three inches from my hip bone. It's sitting up there nice and comfortable for that animal. I've got everything on here. Um, I'm going to put my my uh, my breast collar on. And again, this is I showed it to you earlier. Let me move this around a little bit so you can see. I'm going to bring it around here. And uh, I again I've seen. A lot of people do this a little bit different way too. Uh, it's just all about adjustment. That might have to, I want to make sure that throat latch, I don't cut his hair off. Might have to adjust it from both sides. It should be right in the middle. And then I need to attach this to the D on the middle of the saddle under here. And you notice, that's to keep the saddle from coming back. And this is, in the yoke style really works really well. You can use the straight, straight breast collar, but uh, it works real well, but this works better. That's what I've found, is that they can pull with that yoke style better, and it keeps, it's attached here, and it's attached at each one of these points. So instead of just two, two points. So that's how you want your, your pack saddle adjusted. Hopefully that helped. We'll see you in the next video.